Literally, he just won the uh, the SmashCon Bears, the Nick Jr. Bears. Good stuff to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but let me uh, let's see how he swings against Merc. He's finally back from SmashCon. Yeah, he's got an actual PR player out here. Let's see how it goes. I was about to say, yeah, he has to take down a former top PR player, number one formerly, but he's still in the talks no matter what. And right now we're seeing exactly why using the uh, Mithra to full effect, using the speed of those attacks and the big body of Rob's going to rack up the damage pretty quick. But Con Man, not a whole lot, uh, needs a, uh, you know, as less combos, or oh attacks rather, but there are combos of plenty for the Rob as well. A lot I, of carries back and forth, yeah, going toe to toe. I definitely agree with the Aegis pick here, because like with Joker, it's like obviously he still does decently into Rob, but it's like, there's no point in going through all the effort of playing Joker, right? Like, it's all, there's so much that can go wrong yeah. playing a character like Rob. And Age is kind of just like, big sword, fight big body. Yeah. Me win game. Like, it's, it's really just that simple. Yeah, yeah, And Mercury showing out. Yeah, Joker. Age is going in right now. Joker is a, you know, uh, uh, jack of all trades, master of, you know, maybe one, maybe two. But uh, Pyra and Mithra, definitely the masters of their craft. And the big body hits for uh, oh. Pyra. <laughs> And the fast attack nature of Mithra, so... Exactly, I think. They do such a good job of kind of keeping Rob on his toes, and then when then when Pyra comes out, it's, like, so hard for Rob to, like, kind of deal with Pyra's threat range. Yeah. Of the forward tilt or anything like that. And Mercury just, you know, oh. let Common do his thing in the air, but that's sort of to his detriment now, as it's even stocks and 50%. Rob can uh, just rub that off just fine. Exactly. Quite literally could bring this back. Quite, oh, my gosh, a death smash call out from <laughs> Merc. With Eight. the Mithra, no less. What is with these F-Smashes on the ledge today? Mer Yellow's done it like four times. I mean, Merc's doing it now. It's a big sword. What's in the air? <laughs> w w what's going on out here, man? There's something in the water. Literally. Oh! Oh. Kamen trying to go for the big conversion there. Tr almost bare catching Kamen's landing there with the up air. Merc trying to close the stock. If he can't close the stock, it's going to be... Uh, Oh, I mean, that's Come in, yeah, he was so defensive there, rolling away, going in shield, and spot dodging as well. He was fearing what Mercury was going to put out, and it still led to the stock claim anyway. Mercury charging ahead, and still Come in being, you know, a little apprehensive on how he's going to get the next, uh, the next confirm into his combo strings. We'll see. Finally gets a grab in off the empty hop. Um, the super mash from Mercury to get out of there. Merc holding onto this lead, putting that pressure on with Mithra. A lot, oh, that's all the damage you need against Rob, bro. Because like once you take the stock back, it's fair game. Mm -hmm. Basically, even game once you get uh, once you're even stock with Rob, and you definitely don't want to be in that situation. But Merc is holding this as long as he can. Just hasn't been able to lock down any stage control, and when he has it, he was so on the uh, left and right edge that it didn't afford him any real estate to get combos started. And still on platform, same story too. Just cannot get anything going. Con Man is just on his heels. Let's see Mercury charge ahead. A little bit apprehensive side B uh, gave Kamen the opportunity he needed to dash in because the sword was oh, out. Yep. Oh, but down at the back end. Jesus, you don't need a lot for Pyra to get going and uh, just claim stocks in the blink of an eye. Very good stuff from Mercury coming out. I mean, yeah, he's playing the matchup exactly like you should, right? Yes, absolutely. Getting that damage on with Mithra. He's just playing super patiently with Pyra. Very Con Man, it's like... It's so hard to get in against a character like that, right? Like he's yeah. trying, he's using the gyro, he's leaving it to mostly his avail. But it's like Mercury when he kind of just sits there and shield. It's like, okay, now what? Like I'm pirate, bro. I, I dare you to challenge me with this. Right. Has the big attacks to claim against the big body of Robin, and also with uh, Mithra, just racking up that damage, piling on in those early uh, instances. Uh, this character just seems to be a huge, huge uh, thorn in the sides of Rob players. Exactly. Sure. It's, it's a thorn in the side of everybody. I, I, all I hear is Aegis hate out here, bro. <laughs> Aegis and Steve. It's like, cause is kind of That's been going, going since the bit. character's been announced. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was part of that when the character's announced, to be honest. I'm going to be real. But hey, we, I digress. Yeah. Mercury pushing it super hard right now. Yeah. 60% on top of a con man's head. Dash that coming out, too, trying to grab the gyro. Oh my gosh. More of the same. Yeah. It's just Con Man cannot find an opportunity and just Mercury still holding down stage control, yeah, whipping yep. the tilts, and yeah. Already early on is the uh, advantage going to Mercury. Con Man again has to charge forward, goes in with the Nair. He finally has the platform track. Here's his chance to shine and oh. take it and the. Oh my gosh. That was gross. I completely forgot that they had that move. So I think 
Uh, Merc kind of learned from his last set with Yoda yeah. about his overconfidence problem today. He's kind of just like playing like, okay, I'm just going to sit here and play the game. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm play neutral. I'm playing Byron Mithra. Yeah, he's Bob Ross in it right now. For exactly. Sure. He's going with the go with the flow. And Con Man is like, if you're playing this up the knuckle, you're playing this clean, there's not much a man can do. And he's just struggling right now. Oh, my God. That smash. That was so long a charge. And if it does. Just threw it out again. Oh, man, and she's going in on the ledge here. Great in there off of that uh, just in the face, but still attack get up. And we'll see if he can finally claim it oh, on the Mithra. Okay. Finally gets it. And again, 56, he can shrug off. This is still even game. Oh, trying to find the bear there. Con man is trying to find these, like, he's trying to find these straight hits to get his Rob combos that he so desperately needs. But Merc is not letting him have them. Yeah. He's just kind of, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, just... Ew, ew, dude. <laughs> so gross. Doing a oh. lot of landing options. Finally gets a grab. Recognizing his opportunity off of that stalling attack. And oh. a little bit of the uh -oh. gyro. Oh, just barely missing that there. Come yeah. Tried to find the cheese of the century right there. He, he was right to, though, because their their recoveries are so limited vertically. So Exactly. He was absolutely right to do that. We'll see right now. Back air not doing it. And the dash attack nearly... Uh, claiming from main stage. Yeah, Mercury sitting on the ledge here once again. Common is just strong. Oh, there we go. There we go. This yep. could be the interaction he needed. Big pile of damage. And I mean, that's why we're seeing uh, uh, Mercury rock the uh, Pyra right now a lot more because he's recognizing that Common is starting to surge ahead. He's going to be taking a lot of damage. So he wants that heavy nature Ooh. to sort of assured oh. get the stop claim. And it will take with Mithra, no less. But still, 72. Uh, Rob does have a lot of beefy hits, and so long as he can keep Mercury pegged to that side, the smash attack not going to cut through the jab, but he's still picking up the pieces afterward. Gyro sent the other way, though. Another detriment to his uh, attack plan, and now Mercury's going to charge forward because of it. And again, just Gyro now working out for him. Not back and forth, though, with these combos, and still Mercury's on the lead, so it's going to go uh, ever climbing his, uh, his potential to uh, claim the round. Con Man is just letting Mercury get away with a lot of the stuff. Like he's getting us, he's he's winning these small interactions over and over again. Yeah. Con Man, the, the percentage is going up slowly and slowly. Like he's taking these stocks, but he's like letting Mercury get away with too much. And like he has the ideas of how to bring it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I mean, there, I was saying that, and then he just like, there's the hard punch you need, buddy. Yeah, Mercury sort of served that one up on, on the plate, but Con Man recognizing that you know back air was definitely the uh, the uh, call for that. So let's see. And again, 58. This is still within uh, Con Man's grasp. He can still clutch out a combo or two. Gyro can get some uh, interactions. And the snipe capability of Gyro offstage if Con Man can force offstage. Exactly. Oh, jumping back with the side B there, too. Very good stuff from Merc. Oh, clashing out there with the uh, Gyro. Gyro coming in, yeah. Saving the skin of Con Man. Oh, oh, no. I'm not sure if that was a poke or a drop, but still. Uh, maybe Comman was a little too, uh, a little too hot-headed moving in. All his options were covered there. Yeah. Because you're at the ledge against that. If he tried to roll back in, he was getting hit by it. Spot dodge would have got hit by it. He might probably, if he held shield, either would have broken or would have broke through. If it would have, uh, that's true too. Poking. I forgot about the he shield. He was literally just stuck. He, you literally, you're in the corner like that. You got to hold that. The yeah. game's over. I, I, maybe if you could somehow, I don't even. know. I was gonna say if you could take the early hits and maybe uh, SDI out of it. That, and that's is like that that's, that that that's like I, wild and paper. crazy. Yeah, that's a crazy idea. But I don't think as a I don't think it's possible as a character like Rob. I think Rob would just get hit by it. Uh, yeah, big. that's true too. So yeah, the the options were dwindling uh, as as the the seconds counted down there on that attack. But moving on to round three, going Northern Cave Offensive being Con Man's pick. Oh my God, the F smash again. Yo, Mercury. Uh, here, the, the confidence is finally showing out again. He's, just, he's doing the work. Oh, my gosh. Harry has come in at 89%. It's just like, good Lord. Going to the skies is calm, man. Trying to get safe landing. Does so, but still just Mercury in the face of calm, man. Not give him a second to breathe. No zero to death coming in for him. And no, he piling up even further. Ooh. Oh, my God. The Just threw it behind him. It was comboing while it was behind his back. Going crazy right Tom now. Man just revitalized, finding new life in this third round. Tom, we're showing, we're shining signs of life, but it might be too little too late. You know, Mercury is just playing at the top of his game right now, super optimally. He's getting caught out with that bear. Mm -hmm. If he calls out the stock here, he's, he's looking like as good as golden. You know, there you go, the up air. He's gonna take it. Mercury, it's not, it's still definitely doable for Tom Man. It's just like 
Mercury has his feet planted on the ground. He's not going anywhere. Yeah, I want to say the recognition of just Con Man being on... Uh, he forced Mercury to that left side of the stage, but then Con Man took to the platform when Mercury was already on the bottom. I think he should have just pre uh, pressed uh, the the opportunity he had with Mercury below the platform instead exactly. of on top of it. Oh, big aggression with the side B. Okay. Could have been a lot more, you know, uh, punished out of that, so still working out for him. But it's still, he does need a hefty amount of damage. And here comes the opportunity. Oh, Laser. big air dodge. Oh, he had the idea, but comment just barely missing up the execution. Yeah. Oh my gosh, down there. Oh my, down there, up smash. He's going to take it, and it's looking like comment on his tournament stock. It's Rob. It's doable, but it's not looking very good. Yeah, the nails uh, in the coffin are being hammered in as we speak, for sure. But oh. hammering back right now is Con Man takes it with an up smash, brazen up smash. One of Mercury's uh, things that we saw a save point, uh, just the unexpected up smash, can uh, be the linchpin in uh, either round claimers or just stock claimers. And right now, Con Man taking a page out of Mercury's textbook can't get the opportunity off that up B. Are but you referencing uh, Geist Merc? Yes, I am. That site, oh my god, that set. I commentated that set, baby. That was, I'm, I'm, that's great. I, I'm good for you, because, oh my god, that was, that was amazing. Yes, it was. Did I flash out a shield to take the set? Oh my god, I, I, it gives me chills. All right, Gyro. Uh, okay, that's going to leave him vulnerable. Can't get the pop out, uh, the opportunity oh, out okay. of the shield, rather. Oh. This, is, this is looking pretty bad for Gone Man. I want to say it, he was going for side B, try to go for something a little more assured, but... Down tilt. Yeah, that's oh. Down air back air. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, he's still alive. Damn. This man's a big boy. Oh. Okay, wait a minute. He is back, and oh. he's here to stay, dodging that lethal up B as well. But. Oh, the is going to take yeah. up. Good stuff to Mercury taking it three over Con Man. We saw it towards the very end there in that last game, like Con Man had the signs of life. He had the idea. And so more of the game two, too, it was just like. It wasn't enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 